hi guys welcome back to our channel today I am doing another seed haul I got my final order of the season from Baker Creek so I wanted to show you guys what I got here it is my last order of seeds of the season for this year anyway let me show you guys what I got the first thing I got is some zinnias. I got the queen lime. Not sure how you say this one. I just thought it was pretty. Strawberry blonde. And purple prince. How beautiful is that one? And... I'm sure as most of you know, zinnias are great companion plants for your garden, or they actually deter beetles and tomato hornworms, and they attract the wasps that eat the bad guys. So that's why you should plant these in your garden. They're super easy to grow, and they stand up well in hot temperatures. So up here in the summertime it gets pretty hot. We don't have the super high humidity like down south, but it does, we do reach 100 or more in the summertime. So these should grow great in my garden. Up next is another good companion plant that helps keep the pest away. Calendula. Look how pretty this plant is. Snow Princess. So if you don't know about these, you can dry these out for tea. They help with the sunburn and they're an anti-inflammatory. You can gargle, you know, steep them and gargle when you have a sore throat. Um, the only thing is, don't eat these while you're pregnant. <laughs> you can make like a balm out of them. They help externally with like stretch marks and when you're pregnant, like soreness of your girl parts. So definitely check out Calendula. Up next we have the Mira Pepper. As you can see, they're very, very pale. They are a early sweet variety. They actually start out pale like this and then as they ripen, they turn red. So these actually grow great in containers. So if you're limited on space, check out these. Here is a, another pepper variety. Sweet chocolate. Have you ever seen a more beautiful color pepper? I mean, who would have thought brown could be beautiful? So these are another medium size bell pepper. These will ripen very early, so get these planted early and enjoy them all summer long. Up next, golden beets. So, did you know that beets come in a wide range of colors? And they all taste different. So if you had beets before and you didn't like them, Try another color beet. There's a beet out there for everyone. I don't eat beets, but I'm gonna try these because golden or yellow beets are good for your heart. <laughs> they are excellent kidney and body cleansers. They're high in antioxidants. Um, they have been known to help with anemia and fatigue. So they're good for your skin and eyes. I mean, there's so much. These are so great. They're packed full of vitamins and minerals. So grow these. Try beets. I am going to. <laughs> I will let you know if I like them later on. Moon and Stars Watermelon. You've probably seen a lot of kids growing this on YouTube lately. Um, if you can't see it, it is called Moon and Stars from the pattern that's on the skin. These can grow to be over 40 pounds. They are becoming a very popular heirloom seed. I'm sure you've seen these a lot of places. These have actually been around since 1926 
and back then they sold for 20 cents a pack so I the price went up a little bit um, so check these out up next horizon bell pepper these are a orangey yellow pepper they ripe from green to this beautiful color these are great in salads stuffing you can also grow these in a container so if you're limited on space grow these and the mirror peppers if you like peppers peppers are very high in vitamin c so everyone should have a couple varieties of peppers in their garden one of my free seed packets is the amarillo carrot I'm sure a lot of you that ordered from Baker Creek this year received the same packet of seeds. So these have a yellow flesh. They're a very mild carrot and they grow to be about eight inches or so. I actually planted carrots in my container just a couple weeks ago and they started sprouting earlier this week. So I'm hoping to get a lot of carrots this year. And my other free seed packet is the Purple Russian Tomato. These will get to be about three to four inches, like an oblong tomato. They have a very sweet flavor. You can put these in salads and make salsa, can them, you know, whatever you want to do with tomatoes. So these are an indeterminate tomato. If you don't know, indeterminate means that they can continue to grow and produce tomatoes all along the stem throughout the season. They need extra tall support. So these should get you a lot of tomatoes. Often you will prune these just for easy growing if you support them with a trellis or whatnot. And then there's also determinant varieties, which once they reach a certain height, they stop growing. So make sure you know what kind of tomato you're getting and make sure that you have the proper support. All right. Well, thanks for watching this video and checking out my last and final seed haul of the season. Although I was shopping for seeds last night on my gardener's website because of his Memorial Day sale. Thanks for checking this out and we will see you on the next one.